Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, my sticky note just fell. Okay. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So this is part two of my website redesign series. I'm going through a series in my channel where I'm redesigning my website. And I thought it would be a great idea if I take my viewers through that journey. Now, part one, we went through the sitemap and the content. If you wanna check that video out, make sure you click the link right here. But this is part two, where we are going over the wireframe and get the layout, just the basic look of what the website is going to look like. So once we have the sitemap and the content ready to go, we already know what we're gonna put in the website. It's time to start the fun stuff, right? The design. But before we get into the design, we start with what we like to call the wireframe. Now, before I head over to the computer and design the wireframe, I actually like to sketch it out first. So usually I have like a piece of paper or a notebook and a pencil, and I'll just sketch out what I think would be a good look for the wireframe. But you know, we take it into the next level 2020 style. And so we are now uh, have an iPad for this sketch. And so my sketches are a little more organized. So I want to kind of show you what the sketch is gonna look like. And I kind of sketch it out first on the iPad. And then I'm gonna transport it over to Figma and work on the wireframe. Now I don't sketch out every single page of the website. Usually I'll just sketch out the home page, just a simple layout. And then if I am feeling a little of a creative rut, maybe I'm just, I'm stuck, then probably I'll break it out again and try to sketch a bit. It helps me kind of um, just ease my mind and get creative a little bit. Now, before I show you these drawings, they're not perfect by far, okay? The point of a wireframe or sketching, it's not really for it to be perfect. You're really just showing some of the, not really much design elements, but just the layout, a general look of what the website will look like. So this is kind of the sketch that I had in mind of what it is going to look like. And then this is kind of just the first part of the home page. Let me show you the second page. And as you can tell, like I said, it's not perfect but it gives us at least a general look of what the website could look like. So the next step, once I finish the sketch, is I'm gonna go ahead and go to Figma and design the wireframe. So we're gonna go right to the computer and I'm gonna show you uh, the wireframe from every single page and just kind of take you through my thoughts about what, what was my thought going into this creation. So my design tool of choice is Figma. I actually used to use Sketch and I made the switch from Sketch to Figma. I actually made a video about that. If you wanna learn about it, click the link right here. But I've been using Figma and it's been awesome. So let's go ahead and get to the wireframe and Figma is a great tool where you just wanna focus on making UX elements, um, screens you know, for web um, applications, stuff like that. Now, this is the wireframe that we're looking at. And remember, I, I know I did put some design elements into this wireframe, but wireframes don't usually have much design elements in them. I went ahead and decided what's gonna, what's gonna be my font. This is probably gonna be my font of choice in this website. I went ahead and wrote some copy as well for the um, wireframe. And that is very, very helpful because sometimes you don't know how long a copy is gonna be. And it's, it's, it's good when you already have the words and the copy so that you can actually get a glimpse of what it looks like. Now, I don't have every single copy. Some of them are gonna have that traditional lorem ipsum text, but on some of them I actually already have the copy. So this is gonna be our website. It's gonna be a dark look. So I went ahead and put a black or dark grayish background it's mostly going to be center aligned and one thing that's good for your website you want to make sure it's you know same alignment throughout usually and so what i have here i have my heading now i actually put some notes i like to put some notes on the left side just to remind myself when i do work on the design mock-up even when i work through the the development to remind myself what i want and because you know we have bad memory we're gonna forget so i have the Figma file right here. I have the wireframe right here. I have one call to action, but I actually may, might have two call to actions. I got that um, kind of advice from a friend of mine. He said, it's probably good to have two call to action instead of just having contact us right away. You know, you gotta take them out on a date first before you, anyways, all right? <laughs> so, um, now my idea for this heading is gonna be kind of a GIF 
where um, this computer screen right here, this will have a website that I designed. It's gonna scroll down. And then once that's done, this is gonna transport over to here. And then it's gonna scroll down as well, just to show about three websites that I've done. And it's gonna be kind of rotating. So that's an idea that I have for the header. And then as you scroll down, another pop, per, another section is gonna pop up. Now each section is gonna be kind of a 100 VH. So it's gonna take up the whole screen, each section. So as you scroll down, it's not just a traditional scrolling, but as you scroll down, the next section will pop up. And Webflow, you can actually do those things with Webflow uh, pretty simply. Now we have right here, uh, a, a kind of a tradition. I'm actually unsure about this second section. I might create an animation, not me necessarily. I might ask someone to create me an animation just um, of a kind of a website being put together. Um, I might actually put that here. And then also a video. Remember, like I mentioned, I have some videos of past clients that I work with. I'm gonna put some of that here. Now this section, I'm excited about this one, is actually going to be um, a part where, so it's gonna say, why choose Adbar Creative? And then as you scroll down, the only thing that's gonna change is this right side. It's gonna be our process. Um, it was our process, our proof, and then our people. And then you can have a button to learn more about that. The process takes you to the service page. Um, the proof takes you to the work page, and then the people takes you to the about page. And as you scroll down, there's gonna be an element right here if you notice that as you scroll down, this one will go this way and the black bar goes down here just to at least give you a little bit of progress on where you are in this website. And then as you go down, it's really simple. We're just gonna have the videos right here. As you can see, I already have some copy here. Now this copy is not final. I might, you know, put some changes in there. If you have any suggestions on this copy, just like put like the timestamp and then say you should put this instead or whatever. I don't know, let me know in the comments below and three videos that I wanna feature there. And then a final call to action and then a footer right there. Um, I always wanna try to have a final call to action in case they forget, you know what I mean? I'll put them down there. So the first part, you can see the copy is kind of very um, dreamy, but then some of my um, some of my humor uh, shows up on some of the second and you know the other pages. So this is gonna be the work page. Pretty excited about this one. Um, it's going to be, it also actually has some problems differentiating between the pages. As you can see, every single page has kind of a same layout on the top where it has a big headline and then a sub headline underneath. I'm looking for some ways to differentiate it. I'm probably going to do that in design just so people will know what page they're in because even though it looks kind of similar on the top, now of course going to be highlighted here what page you're gonna be in, but I also wanna try to put some element, some design element that kind of can set it apart from the home page. So this is the work page. This is when they wanna see the proof of the work, and these are gonna to lead to the case studies. And I, instead of just putting the work, I wanted to put a short description. So this picture, this image right here will be um, just an image of their website and then a video also that you can click to watch them talking about how it was like working with us. And then a description of that. Um, and I'm really leaning more towards how these websites or even these UX designs helped the company, not just the aesthetics, not just how it looks, but actually how it helped the company accomplish their goal. Because that's kind of the the feel of what I'm going for, The I guess the theme that our design agency helps you accomplish your goal. So that's what I wanted to put for these case studies, hence the titles and also the descriptions, and then also a last call to action and then the footer. Now this page, I'm super excited about this one. I designed it in a particular way. So I have two options for this, option A and option B. Let me know in the comments below, just type the letter A or B. Once you hear my description, just hear it, listen to it, and then let me know what's good, A or B, okay? Now, I will say this, A is uh, more cost efficient. But anyways, so this is what I have for our service page, our process page, so that people will know what the process is. What is it gonna be like if you work with us? So it starts out with strategy, design, build, and then launch. What, I'm going, what I plan to do here is as they scroll down, this kind of white dot, as you scroll down, it, it moves along with you and then it fills in this dot and you get to this section 
and then all the way until the bottom so you kind of know what section you're in. Now, hear, it, hear me out. The right side is gonna be some sort of animation as they scroll down. So this one's strategy. I'm thinking the animation's gonna be uh, either, like I was thinking maybe chess. There, once again, that Queen's Gambit <laughs> influence showing up. Uh, chess, or I was thinking like some animation of people talking or an animation of like writing down ideas. Somewhere along those lines. I'm not much of an animator. I, no, I'm not much. I'm not an animator at all, actually. And so I'm either gonna hire someone to create that for me, or I'm going to look for some animation set that can work with this. And then as they go down, the design is gonna be just like, you know, design elements coming together, an animation of that. And then build will be an animation of like uh, building online, maybe some code here and there. And then also an animation right here, which is a rocket launching. And because, you know, we're gonna take care of you the whole way from strategy, all the way to launch and then i like this copy i just thought it was kind of cool but the process is useless without the missing piece you uh, you like that? let me know let me know if you like that huh now the second option option b i actually got this idea from a friend he said what would be kind of cool if it shows strategy and there's an animation here um of whatever let's say people talking or writing down ideas and then as you scroll down Instead of it scrolling down, the animation, so the words are going to change, and then the animation changes into, kind of morphs into people designing. So you got the ideas, and then all of a sudden, colors are being added, pictures are being added, and it's slowly forming into a website. And then it's going to show it kind of being put into a computer and being developed as you scroll down, and then all of a sudden, everything gets bundled up into a rocket and then launches so that's really cool right but then i don't do any animation i would have to hire someone to do that animation um i don't know how much it's gonna cost it's probably gonna cost a lot if i'm gonna go with that idea i'll probably do it what i'll do is i'll have an mvp which is gonna be this idea and then when i have more money or you know, I'll pay someone and create that animation and change it. So that's what's cool about websites, right? What's cool about websites is it's always, it's never, it's never the finished product. It's always in the process. Let me show you some of the last elements and I'll be done. And then, so right here, there's going to be the about page. Um, there's going to be kind of the team. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to put these people on the website. These are some of the freelancers I work with, virtual assistant. Um, I might put them, I'll have to ask them. And then just our story, and then a YouTube channel. Of course, I want to feature the YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Put the YouTube videos. Um, and then final call to action. And then the last one is the contact page. I like that copy. So he says the connection too, huh? Yes, sir. Um, so then ways to contact us. I don't want to put my phone number. I don't want to get spam phone calls. And so I'm just going to put a book of time, which is like it's a Calendly, where they can schedule, like they can select a time slot. And it'll, you know, reserve it for them. By the way, if you have never heard of Calendly, you need to check out Calendly. I have no affiliate link for that whatsoever. Just go check it out. If you do want to support the channel, go check out the affiliate links in the bottom where I have, like, some of the items I'm using. Or if you want to check out Webflow, there's some affiliate links. Um, hey, you could be the first one. I've never earned money from an affiliate link. You could be the one. You could be the first one. Help me out. And then last one, send an email, just be a form, just send an email. So that is the wireframe. And I'm pretty, pretty excited. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And the next step is the design. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you learned a little bit something as we kind of went through my thought process into creating these wireframes. I hope you enjoyed that breakdown. Now for the next week or two, I'm gonna work hard in designing the mock-ups for this website and then go into the webflow for the development. This process is similar to what I usually take when I work on a client website and I thought it'd be best to take those similar steps to my personal website. Let me know in the comments below if this type of content has been helpful for you. Comment below something that you learned from this video and then also click that like button. This helps us uh, get that video up in the YouTube algorithm. And then lastly, could you please consider subscribing? We, come, we try 
to come up with content that will help graphic designers, creative people out there. And let me know if you have any video suggestions in the comments. Until next time, people, it's been fun. Always keep learning. See you next time. Peace.